I spent 10 years as a professional triathlete and if you want to run faster, then keep watching because in this video, I'm going to show you six scientifically proven protocols that'll make you run faster in just a few weeks. I'm going to show you each protocol, the benefits, the science behind it, and exactly how to do it down to the intervals, the sets, and the number of times per week. The 30-20-10 method is a simple way for you to run faster for longer, and it has been a go-to of mine for years. Studies, including this one with 60 runners, showed that after just seven weeks of using the 30-20-10 method, the runners improved VO2 max by 4% and their 5k times by 7%. This method is great because it uses both easy, medium and hard running so it improves your stamina and your speed. Here's how it works. You start by running 30 seconds at a slow, easy pace. Then you speed up for 20 seconds to a medium pace, which is just a little bit faster than normal. And then finally, you sprint all out for 10 seconds. You repeat this interval four to six times each workout. To make sure you get the most out of it, focus on really sprinting during those 10 seconds and then doing the 30 second of easy running. Keep running, but try to get your heart rate as low as possible. The Tabata interval training protocol is well known for a reason. It's one of the most effective short duration high intensity methods that you can use to improve your view to max and your anaerobic capacity. In the original study, participants performed 20 seconds of all out effort followed by 10 seconds of rest and they did that for eight rounds. This was done five days per week for six weeks. By the end of the study, participants saw an insane improvement of 14% in their view to max and 28% in their anaerobic capacity. This protocol is unique because you don't need that much time and especially for untrained individuals, this can make you so much faster in such a short period. The four by four minute interval training has become legendary among runners and it's because it helps you improve your speed and your stamina. Studies, including this one with 30 runners, showed that after just eight weeks of using the 4x4 method, runners improved their view to max by as much as 10%, which in turn meant that they could run faster for longer. They were also able to hold faster paces without getting tired as quickly. Runners in the study did it three times per week for eight weeks. Here's how it works. You run for four minutes at around 85 to 90% of your maximum effort. It should feel hard, but manageable for the four minutes. Then you jog or walk slowly for three minutes. You then do another four minutes of hard work and you repeat this cycle for four times each workout. The Norwegian 4x4 minute is great for building speed and stamina. To get the most out of it, try to keep your pace as steady as possible during those four minutes. So don't try to just sprint all out in the first minute and then get completely gassed by the end. And then during your three minutes of rest and recovery or easy jogging, then make sure to get your heart rate down as slow as possible. After just a few weeks doing this, you'll start to notice huge huge improvements. The Tempo Run has been proven to help you run faster for longer in multiple studies, including this one with 30 trained runners. Over a period of eight weeks, participants followed a Tempo Run protocol, running at 85 to 90% of their maximum heart rate for about 20 to 30 minutes per session. They did this workout two to three times per week. At the end of the study, participants saw a significant improvement in their lactate threshold, which increased by five to 10%. This allowed them to run faster before fatigue set in. Their overall view to max and running economy also improved, meaning they became more efficient at higher speeds. On average, runners improved their five and 10K times by three to 6%, meaning this is a highly effective protocol. The question of whether you should do tempo runs at a moderate pace or high intensity interval training is a hot topic in the running community. However, this study showed that Threshold training can also be a great way for you to improve your performance. I think that this is a great protocol to have in your routine somewhere because it also helps with the mental side of things. So being able to push yourself and be in that race pace. The sprint interval training method, also known as SIT, has also been shown to deliver amazing results in just a few weeks. In one study with 20 participants, researchers found that after just six weeks of following the SIT protocol, 
runners improved their VO2 max by 10 to 15%. The study showed that you can get similar benefits to traditional endurance training, but in a fraction of the time. The runners improved their speed, their endurance, and their ability to keep a high pace for a longer time. The protocol involves running at 100% of your max effort for 30 seconds and then resting for four minutes. This is repeated for four to six intervals and done two to three times per week. The 15-15 interval training is a short, intense workout that can also help you improve your speed and endurance. In a study of middle-aged runners, researchers tested a method of running 15 seconds at 80 to 90% of your VO2 max, followed by 15 seconds of easier running. Here's how it works. You run hard for 15 seconds, and then you slow down for 15 seconds. And then you do that around 12 to 15 times. Participants in the study did it three times per week for eight weeks. By the end, they improved their VO2 max by six to 10%. They also experienced lower levels of fatigue, meaning they could go harder for longer. But using single protocols will only get you so far. Knowing when and how to mix these protocols calls is crucial if you want to run fast without getting injured. And I'll show you exactly how to do that in this video right here.